Microjig, maker of the Gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rocket H Wood Shop. Now I know that there are some of you out there that have been wondering where I've been. It's probably been about two months since I've done a video. And if you are not subscribed to my other channel, which is my vlog channel, um, you won't know. And I actually did a little detailed uh, video uh, on why I'm doing this little time off. I decided to reevaluate my place here on YouTube because the posting of videos each and every week got to be really time consuming and stressful. I was losing sleep, I was getting sick, I just wasn't able to keep up. So after doing some resetting and uh, reevaluation, I've decided that I'm going to post videos when I can get them posted. It's not a very important thing to me now with my current situation that I have to get a video out each and every week. I know that there are some of you that like that consistency, but for me as a person to stay healthy, uh, I've decided to back off a little bit. I've even started doing some uh, workout regimens with my wife. Uh, we've been doing P90X3, trying to get back in shape and trying to get healthy to where I can keep going at a steady pace and not have to worry about getting sick anymore. Um, so uh, what I'm going to bring to you this week, it's not exactly a woodworking project, but it is a storage solution problem. Now, since I am in the medical field, I have access to certain things like hospital garage sales. So if any of you are out there, keep an eye out for those because you may find some storage solutions that the hospital will be selling and you can actually use those in your shop. For instance, this is a Pixis cabinet. It's actually used to store drugs. It has a computer attached to one side of it with a barcode scanner. And whenever you key in certain items and you scan something with a barcode, a drawer will pop open and it's only one specific drawer and it will have access to the drug that you need. And then you close it back and then there are some servos in the back that actually lock the drawer back in place. So whenever you get this, you will not be able to open the drawers. So today I'm going to show you how to utilize this cabinet for storage solutions in your shop. But first you have to take it apart in the back to make it work. So I've got another cabinet right over here that will go in this spot to cover up these windows for a little bit more privacy in the shop. So let's get started on taking that apart. Now when you get this cabinet, like I said, all the drawers are locked. So you have to access the back of the cabinet to find out how to take it apart. And for a lot of you uh, computer junkies out there, you might like all this circuitry. <laughs> now all of these circuit boards have little servos that, thanks to my brother's explanation on how they work, <laughs> are gravity fed. So whenever there's no power to them, the servos have a little bitty plunger that goes inside a hole that's in the back of those drawers. There's a little tongue that has a hole in it that these access. So whenever there's no power, all the drawers are locked. So whenever power is supplied to a specific servo, a magnet inside of that pulls that plunger up out of that hole and the drawer pops open. Uh, unfortunately, we can't use the plungers individually like that without the computer. So we're going to have to just take them off. And the easiest way to do that is to just pop these ribbon uh, cables off and uh, pop the drawers out of the servos and then take the whole circuit board with the servos attached off the cabinet. Okay, now that all the drawers are popped out, all we have to do now is take the circuit board off. Do that with a drill. Okay, now that the last circuit board is out, let's move it into place. Well, since I got a whole bunch of screws from that, 
I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in this drawer, and it's got dividers in these drawers that I can separate them all out. Now these servos, I'm not gonna disregard these because I can actually use these for some other things, especially if I want a hidden locked drawer. All you need to do is supply power to it uh, with a switch and it's good to go. So I'm gonna pop these off from the back. Now all these circuit boards, I don't need them. So computer guys, forgive me. So as you can see, this little drawer setup gives me tons of space to put a lot of the tools that were in my toolbox. And that toolbox was falling apart, so I didn't need it in the shop anymore. It actually took up more space than what it was good for. So these right here give me tons of storage that I haven't even begun to fill. I still have to alter the drawers a little bit. These little uh, foam tabs kind of keep them from sliding out, which is what they're meant to do when they're in a drug uh, kind of setup because they don't want to open them up all the way. But me on the other hand, I need that. So I will probably trim off these little tabs and call it good because they don't seem to come out by themselves even when they're fully loaded. So as you can see, I still got a lot more stuff here that I need to organize here, but once I get them labeled and put all away, it'll be great. Now there are some things that won't fit, but I can find places for that easy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it really wasn't a woodworking video, but I acquired these kind of at a last minute and I wanted to get them set up and I wanted to show you guys if you can think outside the box, you don't necessarily have to build your own storage. Just keep your eye out for things that will work as storage. This may not be used for tools, but it is now. So guys, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry it's been a long time since my last video. I just needed a little time off, but I hope you enjoy it, and I plan on putting out some more. So guys, take care. Be safe in your shops. Talk to you soon. Boom!